These are the trophies of war. A captured Russian tank now painted in Ukraine's colors and another just off the battlefield soon to be. This tank came to the front to work over our position, said Commander Alexander Harmatko. Our infantry shut it down. The T-80 is old. This one may have come out of storage, and it's incredibly cramped inside. Still, the soldiers of Ukraine's 93rd Mechanized Brigade believe it can be useful to them. We will bite the Russians with their own tank, he says. We're just south of Izum, a city held by Russia, and a gateway to the Donbass, the focus of ongoing Russian attacks. The front is very close. Ukraine's army has given us unprecedented access. Artillery shells hit just a few hundred meters away, and there are fresh craters on the road. You can see Tochka U. <laughs> That's a ballistic missile, which our guide Irina Rybakova says Russia fired at troops here. But still, Ukraine is making progress. We're tactically moving forward very slowly, she says. The Russians are focused on other areas. We're told Ukraine has gained about five kilometers of territory on the Azum front in recent weeks, with losses on both sides. This place has the smell of death. This armored personnel carrier was part of an attack that failed in May, and the bodies of the Russian Soldiers who manned it are still here. Arriving at the forward line, we meet soldiers who never sleep. The closest Russian observation posts are just 150 meters away. Uh, we are uh, watching every time, every minute, every hour, and, uh, and ready for the attack. Arson was a history teacher before this. I can't uh, be in civilian life because I understand uh, a scale of uh, this, uh, this war. Russia claimed victory and fiercely contested Lysychansk Sunday and full control of the Lugansk region. Whether its military can press on will likely depend on how fast Western weapons reach the Ukrainian front lines. There are anti-tank rockets here, but Marcel tells us not enough heavy weapons, like large artillery guns. We have a large uh, front uh, and uh, not so much that uh, we feel. And there's also exhaustion. We've been here for 70 days, says a soldier who goes by the name Lizard. We want to go back to our families. Here, the symbol of Russia's war in this country is getting erased. For Ukraine, this grinding war of attrition only comes with small victories. Chris Brown, CBC News, near Izum, Ukraine.